The best part of the iPhone 15 isn't the action button, it's the USB-C port. Apple really opened the floodgates to all of our other tech accessories, being able to work and be plugged into this and used and practically turn this thing into an itty bitty iPad now. It's your storage device, it's your backup battery, it's your camera, and oh yeah, it just happens to make phone calls, but that's old news. Let's check out all the extra devices that I've been plugging into this. Plugging in a USB-C hub now unlocks just about anything you could imagine plugging into your normal computer and laptop. I've got the phone here on my Belkin 3-in-1 charger, so it's getting the MagSafe charge going the whole time, and it also holds it steady so my port doesn't get banged around and broken. Inside the iPhone's file menu, you have access to hard drives for importing and exporting, plus all your other files from the device. I have a keyboard and mouse set up through USB-A into the hub. You have access to an SD card reader now, and I have other USB-C ports which I can tap into. So here's my little tiny computer setup using the iPhone as my monitor, or I can send USB-C out of the HDMI to a monitor as well. For taking photos and videos, this iPhone can also accomplish some wonderful images as we've all been seeing over the week. This isn't your everything camera, but it's a great little capable camera to have in your pocket for behind the scenes stuff, easy filming and photos, and if you want, you can push it pretty far. But it's not one of these amazing new breakthroughs. There are some limitations. If you're on a Pro Max, you have the ability to export ProRes format in an Apple Log Mode, which is very similar to Sony's S-Log Mode, which makes sense since Apple has been using Sony sensors in the iPhone since the iPhone 4s back in 2011. With the Apple Log, you have a lot more flexibility in grading the colors in post-production and get that look that you really want. So if you have a little SSD drive hooked up to the USB-C port, you're able to export these huge files but some of the best quality you can achieve out of the iPhone. It's very capable nighttime and low light cam also. If you turn down the exposure, capture as much of the highs as possible, and then grade those shadows back up in post. If the whole color grading process is just too much work and those one gigabyte files are just too big for you, we have this other new gem, which is the Blackmagic camera app. There is a bit of a learning curve, but this app has so many options for different codecs, different flavors of ProRes, where to save your files, Blackmagic really unlocked all the camera features for us. And the best part of it, it's free. This is why Blackmagic is such a great camera company and is loved so dearly, because they hook us up as filmmakers. They've always done that since the very beginning. You can easily transfer your clips to their editing app DaVinci Resolve, but you don't have to. You can just save everything to your own SSD, pop it in the computer later when you're ready to edit on whatever you like, or you can just turn it around and get those files back onto your phone. YouTube is gonna be dropping all these editing tools. Everyone wants you to edit on this phone as well. So just tons of other options for filming and getting the highest quality out of these Pro Maxes. I also had a 15 base model over here and that does not have the ProRes feature in the camera app, but you just pop on over to the Blackmagic app again. Save it to a drive, no problem. You can get a really nice little camera now for around 800 bucks, just the price of that iPhone. And if you want even more flavors and versatility, spend a little extra for the Pro Max. You can get up to a terabyte on these things, and now you've got yourself a little backup hard drive. Here's your new Narbox that just takes a little more manual work to get these files over and safely transferred after your gig. Make yourself feel better and know that everything is safe. For easy microphone use, the DJI mics work on this, and there are just a ton of other mics out there now that have the USB-C out. I have also just taken a straight USB-C to HDMI out into a switcher, or straight into something like a Thomas's Zato. So now you have a little better monitoring option, or you can just use it as your B or C cam. So you can start to see that that USB-C port is just giving you so many options. It's so much easier to use the phone in these ways with Apple finally giving us support and a plug that the rest of the world has already caught up with. And it's great they didn't do their normal Apple stuff and just keep the USB-C port locked to other proprietary or third-party options. Everything can use it now. So that's just a few of the things that I've been messing around with over here on this new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I hope it gave you some ideas. We have a lot of other iPhone 15 videos dropping this week, so be sure to hit subscribe, and I hope to see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.